Hey, it's AJ from King Chrome. I've got a tool tip for you today, and this one is about the dead blow hammer and what it's actually used for. So a dead blow hammer is essentially the same uh, design as a lot of other hammers on the market, but inside of the actual hammer, is it's hollowed out and it can be filled with either sand or metal shots. If you give it a bit of a shake, you can hear that. Okay, so this one's got metal shots in it and it's designed to actually deaden the blow. That's where you get the term dead blow hammer. So you can still give it a good whack. It's designed with a soft face to not mark the surface and to absorb the blow. So there's less rebound. So when you hit something, it's not gonna rebound back at you. So as an example, I'll give this a bit of a whack and you can have a bit of a look at that. Hardly any rebound at all. And if you've got something like a rubber mallet, Again, it's a non-marring surface, so it's not gonna, not gonna destroy anything that you're using, but you're gonna get a bit of kickback with that. Have a look at this. The bounce comes back just as much as what you put into it. On a claw hammer, when you give that a bit of a whack, you're gonna leave a mark, like this I did, like I've done before. So it's not really great for fine furniture or anything that you don't want to damage. I call this the IKEA hammer. I use it for flat packs, putting things together, tapping them, I know I'm not going to damage the surface. It's used for a number of other things, but that's what I use it for.